uh, Hayden's next in Manchester. Hi, uh, is it Hayden or Hayden? Yeah, Forgive no, me. Hi. It's Hayden with Hayden. Welcome to the program, Hayden. Thank you. I'm a first time caller. Uh, I voted Leave, and I wish I hadn't. I'll, I'll explain why. I'm an airline pilot. I have a European license, which allows me to fly European registered aircraft. And with a no deal Brexit being highly likely, I will now have just a British license and I will be isolated from any opportunities through Europe. And what do you Had think I, would happen when you voted leave, Hayda? When you considered all of this, I, I'm sure I, you thought about I your position. You I, yes. I saw the bus, £350 million pounds that we'd save and give to the NHS. I feel that's a pack of lies. I was told we are a very strong island. We will be able to support ourselves. That was a pack of lies. Well, how Everything, do you know that? How do I know that? Well, if you look at all the uh, uh, professionals out there who understand our economy better than the politicians do, what, they're all saying the same thing. We are not strong enough to, to uh, survive this without a deal. But more importantly, my situation as a professional, uh, had I known that we would leave without a deal and these, were, these would be the consequences in terms of my career, I would never have voted no deal. Wasn't it explained, I, I wasn't it explained during the campaign, Hayda, that everybody hoped for a deal, they said it was likely, but that there were risks? No, not at all. If you, if, uh, what I remember from the campaign was ev every person, for example, Johnson, who's, to be honest, is, a, is, 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 a, is an idiot as far as I'm concerned, because he's Islamophobic, you know, he, he's not, a, I, don't, I do not believe he's the right person to really represent this, uh, you know, highly ethnic United Kingdom, but, but also Farage. Everything they said were all a pack of lies. Nothing they said really, t really meant um, uh, you know, positive for, for the UK. Everything is now coming out. A year later, a lot of the information is now coming out. What are the real consequences of really leaving the UK without a deal? Well, that's got us started. Uh, Hayder, who feels conned.